So I have a surprise that I want to share with you today, and this is something I haven't talked about at all on the show or put anything on Twitter or Facebook about it either. Um, a few weeks ago when I was in New York, I had the opportunity to do a video with Ralph Gibson. Ralph Gibson is one of the great living photographers of our generation. He had an enormous impact on me when I was starting out, when I first came across his work. If you're not familiar with his work, um, he has a really interesting aesthetic quality to what he does and a very interesting approach. Um, he in Ralph's work, the key element, I think, is framing and how he frames up the composition. And a lot of times it's about what he leaves out just as much as what is in the picture. So for instance, um, it's narrowed down to really the gestalt, the key elements that um, make sense to communicate something visually. So you're left with, for instance, if there's a figure in the composition, you'll just see a gesture with an arm or something like that. It's a really interesting quality to his work. And I think that in many ways, he is a linchpin to an older generation of photographers. Uh, one of his first jobs was assisting Dorothea Lange in the 60s. Um, and then later on worked with Robert Frank on two of his films. And when he moved to New York, he was friends with everybody. He knew Dean Arbus, he knew Mary Ellen Mark, he knew Henri Cartier-Bresson very well. And he was a lot younger than those people. And so it's interesting because I think his work, definitely you see an influence of what some of those people in New York were doing at that time. But to me anyway, it combines some of the great elements, uh, you know, some of the narrative qualities of street photography, and it combines those with a lot of the possibilities that you have with still life. So for instance, in Ralph Gibson's work, juxtaposition is a really key element. Um, how he places, what is the relationship of objects in the composition to one another? Um, sometimes he plays with context. Um, you know, if you're used to seeing something in a certain context, what possibilities are presented visually if you move that into a different context? And so there's a wonderful quality to the aesthetic that Ralph puts into his work, and I think he is just absolutely amazing. I've talked about him once on the show before. It was a couple years ago when I used to do the Photo 3 series, and I did a show on three photographers who were also musicians, and Ralph is a guitarist. And he does some very interesting things. He has some performance pieces that he does where he improvises music. It's improvised within a structure, but it's it's presented with uh, video and still images being projected behind him during the performance. And he really is very unique and very interesting. So I'm going to post this video tomorrow, but I want to talk about it first because it's really not like the other artist series videos that I've done. In fact, I had no idea that I would be doing this, so I wasn't prepared for an interview. I didn't have my equipment with me. In fact, I filmed the whole thing on a point and shoot. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about how this came to be. So. A couple weeks ago, I was in New York for APAD, and before I left, I got an email from a gentleman in Paris uh, named Thierry, and he asked if we could meet um, to talk about some business things, and I said, sure. So we went out for coffee, and uh, we got there, and Thierry says to me that he spent the morning with somebody who knows me. And I said, well, who would that be? And he said, well, it was Ralph Gibson. And I said, well, I've never met Ralph Gibson, so are you sure he knows who I am? He said, he knows who you are. He watches your show. He likes what you do. And he wants to know if you can meet with him at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And at this point, you probably could have knocked me over with a feather. Ralph Gibson knows who I am. I mean, this is like wild. This is like, it's just bizarre. And of course, I'll meet at 10 o'clock in the morning. I mean, when Ralph Gibson wants to meet with you, you rearrange things. So I did. And 10 o'clock the next morning, I go down to the studio and take the subway down to Soho. I walk a little ways, and then I'm in front of the building, and this taxi pulls up, and it's Thierry. He gets out. So we talk for a few minutes, and he goes, well, there's the master now. And I turn around, and here comes Ralph Gibson, Leica in one hand and a bag of muffins in the other. And he could not have been a nicer guy. He was like, how are you guys doing? He said, man, I really love your show. I love what you do. And I guess, you know, famous people watch YouTube also. Anyway, it was really cool. And he, he said that he thought what I was doing was very important and talked about the artist series some. And so we went upstairs and sat in the living room. Ralph made me coffee, which was still really bizarre. And we ended up talking about philosophy and photography. And I asked him a bunch of questions about, you know, some of his background. And it was a lot of fun. So what is going on is, is Thierry is actually opening a gallery in Paris. And this, first of all, is a bold move, and I have a lot of respect for Thierry. He is an amazing guy. Um, he is very determined, very hungry, and very organized, and I think he's probably going to be very successful with this. Um, it's not far from the Louvre. It's right in the middle of Paris. And uh, I will put a link to the in the description for the opening to this. It's going to be on June 9th, and the first show is going to be Ralph Gibson. So one of the points of this meeting was Thierry and Ralph were going to look at the works. In fact, it was kind of cool because Ralph 
stuff was literally like pulling stuff off the inkjet printer and they were putting them on the floor just to kind of see what uh, photographs worked well next to each other and how they would be arranged in the gallery. And this is an interesting glimpse into the making of an exhibition. So after about two hours, I was just very apprehensive about just turning on the camera and starting to film because it's one of my heroes in photography and, and I just didn't want to be disrespectful of what we were doing there. Um, after about two hours, I did ask if I could film and Ralph said, absolutely, sure. And we talked about the possibility of doing an artist series around the opening in Paris. And I'm like, yeah, I think I can make that work. And as soon as I found out what the date was, unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to that because I'm supposed to be in Mexico at the same time working on artist series. So anyway, I won't be able to do that. So we'll have to do something another time. But I was just really blown away with, with both of these individuals. I think very highly of Tierra. I think he's going to have an amazing success with this gallery. Um, and I think having Ralph Gibson for the opening is going to be mind-blowing. So anyway, that's what this video is about. Um, that we're going to do tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to follow up with a proper um, artist series with Ralph Gibson in the future. And speaking of artist series, we have the first three videos up and I really could not be happier with the way they've turned out and the response that I've gotten from people. It's been overwhelmingly positive and I really appreciate you guys um, sharing these videos. I've had more shares on these than really any of the other 450 so videos that I did before them and it means a lot to me because I was really nervous about this. This was a big project that we raised money to do. Um, it's been a ton of work to put together, um, tiring in some ways, but also very satisfying in others. And I've gotten to work with some of the artists that I look up to, and it's it's really an amazing thing. And I was absolutely terrified before I started releasing them, and I feel better about it now. And I just want to thank you guys. Um, this I think it's important because this is something that I just want to give back to photography is my gift of thanks, uh, and to share some of the people who inspire me, and hopefully that would inspire somebody else. And so anyway, a lot of cool stuff coming up. The first three are, have been released. They're up. I'll link to those in the show description as well if you haven't seen them. And coming up in the next month, I've got a lot going on. I'm supposed to start this weekend with the next artist. And so I'll be in Beaumont and then I will be in Wyoming and then on to Mexico City. And so I'll have more information soon on those. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys once again. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to like them, share them with your friends, and as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest stuff that we do here. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.